Hi. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss uh, about performance monitoring in a Solaris machine, and also we are going to discuss about how to investigate uh, about a process which is creating a, a bottleneck, anything related to disk or memory or CPU. Uh, before we discuss about these bottlenecks and before we uh, we go for the actual monitoring, we should think we should talk about the. Uh, the uh, the tools which are uh, available in the Solaris machine, uh, which is which is available, uh, which is built in in the Solaris machine, there are basically five tools we use. That is one is like IOSTAT, and uh, another one is like VMSTAT. IOSTAT is used for the uh, IO statistics like disk statistics, and VMSTAT is used for the virtual memory statistics. It's not only memory; it also talks about uh, some parameters and factors about the disk and also CPU and also we have like a PR stat which talks about the process related information like uh, how each process is running and how much memory it is consuming and how much uh, CPU resources it is utilizing okay and we also have the SAR SAR system activity report and also using the and also will use the net stat to identify the network related issues okay uh, just uh, I want to give a brief description uh, brief demonstration about each tool uh, the command we use regularly in PR uh, in solar is to find out the current actual situation of the machine is like PR stat if you see this machine uh, the PR stat minus uh, this I iPhone A gives you the uh, like memory usage is 52 percent and the CPU is 5.9 percent it's like overall memory usage and overall CPU and these are the processes currently running and this is the first column is the uh, first first column is the PID and the last column is the process name and the CPU utilization and this is the memory utilization individual memory utilization okay if you see uh, this uh, total list general uh, is actually uh, the total memory size is around f I think in this machine we have around uh, minus We have 512 MB uh, memory size out of that 53 percent is used normally uh, without any uh, operations is generally 49 percent and now it is 53 means nothing serious here is everything is going fine uh, and uh, this is uh, this is the PR stat utility and normally whenever I run this command I see only this two uh, the immediately the first thing I observe is this memory utilization and CPU utilization and uh, the other two uh, utility if you want to talk that is vm stat which will memory statistics in this one i use the uh, option iphone capital s it's a complete statistics and i want the report uh, 100 reports 100 memory statistics reports with the interval of one second so i run this like this if i run this one it various uh, various uh, uh, sections are there if you say K thread, it's a kernel threads, and it's a memory, and it's a paging, and it's a, it's a disk, and it's a false and CPU. In the uh, in the in the uh, let me let me go. Let me see only five so that we can see the headings and understand. In the kernel thread, it's a like R B W, right? It's R indicates the run queue length of the CPU. Means how many how many processes are currently uh, in queue for the CPU, and it's the B means blocked processes. Blocked process means they are actually started running, but somehow they are blocked because of uh, some other uh, resource purpose. They either they are waiting for the I/O operation or memory operation or something. It's dependent in some. This wait W means it's a waiting process. Means it's they are they are still waiting in the uh, they are waiting for the CPU attention. Okay. And this memory is having uh, various outputs like swap size and free size, and uh, swap in uh, and swap in S I S O S O means swap in swap out rate, and P I P O means page in page out rate. And many people generally have this: uh, what is the swapping and what is the paging? Uh, it's like a small uh, difference between the swapping and paging. Actually, paging in the sense means a very common operation. Common operation in the sense, uh, every every uh, time uh, uh, whenever the whenever the any process any specific process running out of memory, 
it has to page it means the, uh, it has to move the existing pages to the uh, disk and it has to get the new pages it has to do continuously to run a specific process that is uh, that is basically a paging and it happens to every process no matter uh, what process every process needs this paging operation has to be it has to be done by default and the swapping in the sense actually the memory is there and the processes are running and process related information also running it in the memory and uh, the process related information means uh, the entire metadata about the process this information is available in the memory and when this swapping happens this entire process information is going back to the disk and it's coming with the and, and it's taking the new process which is currently waiting for the uh, memory resources means this swapping happens means the process is completely going into the idle state means its existing running process will go to the idle state whereas paging means process is running but it is waiting for the next pace so it is it's kind of okay but swapping means the process is completely going from the memory to out of the memory and it's it's and the memory is used by different different uh, uh, process okay that is a small difference okay and uh, if you go for a, a disk statistics there is it's showing about the devices s0 s1 s2 s3 and uh, that and also in the page the another very important factor is sr this is like swap rate how many swaps are happening okay whenever you see the report please observe the first column indicates the uh, the, the things happen till now uh, means it's it's like a complete counter uh, details it may be a, it it takes the old information everything so always keep the first first row and you have to take care you have to watch the information from the second row onwards okay these counters are not reset in the first row all the all the time the counters carries carry forward from the old counters so always we have to ignore this first counter uh, first row and we have to start monitoring from the second row onwards okay in the sr the swap rate uh, the sr means the swap rate swap rate indicates how many how many times the swapping is happening within the machine uh, within the memory so disk is talking about this related stuff and false means any faults are there in the system uh, in system or uh, cpu uh, cpu operations and the cpu means how much time is cpu is spending on the user time and how much time it is on the system time how much time it is in the idle time so the main things when you run this vm chat command uh, with capital uh, my, uh, capital s option the things you have to observe is run queue length and blocked queue length okay and the swap in swap out ratio and the swap rate you don't need to uh, when you think about the swap rate you can simply ignore this too because it's okay and when you when you talk about cpu and you have to understand this us and s5 these are the uh, these are the uh, the main columns you have to observe uh, okay and uh, this is about vm stat if you talk about io stat I'm I'm assuming that you already know about these tools, uh, so that is the reason I'm just giving the brief introduction about and brief uh, uh, information about these tools. So I'm using the options X N M. The I was stat X means extended statistics, N means uh, show the device paths, and M means it's including the mount partitions. And I also I want uh, 100 reports with one second interval. See, and here also again we have to see the important things. These are the first column is like read seconds, write seconds, and kilo reads, and kilo writes, and wait states active, and wait service time and uh, active service time. And when you see this and you run this I/O stat command, the two things you have to observe is this S service time. A service time and percentage B. A yes, service time talks about the service time the system is spending on this IO request, and the bottleneck is like if it is above 30 milliseconds, then you are experiencing a bottleneck. And the percentage B, it's a busy time, means how much time the disk is busy. If it is more than 20 percent, then obviously it explains you that disk is really busy now it's it's like if you see this uh, if th this line it's keep on moving for the partition c1 t0 d0 and it is talking about like uh, sometimes it is showing 40 sometimes 14 
and and also service time it is it is going uh, is 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 giving uh, different variations and also let's see uh, how this vm start is showing the run queue length i think there is some uh, performance issue is there in this machine early initial stage it was not there but now it started to see if you see the run queue is like it is uh, showing that different 11 9 5 12 and 10 means the cpu is accumulating the uh, processors uh, means it's, it's more run more uh, processor currently running in the cpu now we have to identify if there is any performance issue then there will be a uh, the obviously the system will be slow okay so now i'm experiencing a little uh, little uh, slowness in this machine now i want to know which one is actually causing this uh, performance degrade whether it is a cpu or it is a memory or is or a disk ivo so if first thing is let's see if it is cpu then what is the current utilization for the CPU? It's 5.4 percent only. So it doesn't seem to be a CPU bottleneck. If it is going above 25 percent, and uh, continuously if it is going around 80 percent, it is a CPU bottleneck. We can assume that. But right now it is only. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, right now it is only 5 percent. Means I cannot suspect the CPU bottleneck. Then what else? The memory. Memory remains staying remains 54 percent, so I cannot suspect memory also. Okay, anyway, give it a try. Is there any swapping happening here? The swap in and swap out is zero zero, and SR also zero zero. Means there is no swapping happening. When there is no swapping, means it's it's there is no memory shortage there. If the swapping is seriously uh, is, is swapping happening at the higher rate, that means a serious shortage of memory but now here this, there is no swapping at all see the, the uh, ignore the first row okay it is showing the world counters and below it is always swap in a zero this swap in a zero and swap out is zero and this uh, swap rate is also zero see this is swap in and swap out and swap rate now so the only the other factor is disk io see there is something uh, funky is happening here the bis disk busy time going uh, vary uh, uh, varying between the 20 and uh, 10 and 25 sometimes it's going to 21 and sometimes 5 12 and average service time is 3.9 10 if it is average service time is above 30 milliseconds and disk busy time is 20 then obviously uh, it's a disk IO bottleneck okay it seems to be disk bottleneck uh, now I say I mean it's IO bottleneck now we have to identify what exactly which process causing this IO bottleneck uh, if you see this IO statistics the most of the writes are happening in only one partition that is C1 T0 D0 we have to identify which partition it is and which is the what is the mount point uh, let's see if it is any mount point uh, with this disk partition when I run this DF minus KL so there is no individual disk because this is running on the Veritas uh, disks okay let's see uh, which Veritas volume using this disk okay and this disk is uh, part of uh, root volume 0 1 it is also part of swap volume but uh, swap volume uh, is not like a disco statistics okay so obviously the operations are happening within the root volume let's see if any uh, if you see this uh, PR stat is there any process I could see only all the bash process there seems to be regular because we are running in the bash uh, shell is there anything suspicious process running let's see 
I'm running the PS uh, iPhone ELF to see long listing of the processors. It's like uh, Java is running, Veritas is running. So which one is actually causing this I/O uh, transactions? I I think now I have to. I, th I have to list that uh, entire uh, process tree to see uh, uh, to see the actual problem. Let me see. I want to list that uh, entire uh, process tree. I think. Okay, this is the NAT process starting, and they are the different process. They are the single processes. And these are the Veritas processor and SSHD and there is no wow this Java is really starting many sub processes and if you see this all stuff is there any uh, disk related command disk related commands means either copy or uh, move or uh, remove or any anything which 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 performs uh, I/O operations. So you see there is a command mk file is running and I think GA, this Java is having many sub processes and uh, which is also having like this is rm command this is, a, this is also disk operation and this seems to be really uh, big process and which is making more this is the only thing right anything else we see here any mk commands or uh, any other commands cat commands or uh, move commands i see nothing except this java process making some uh, iowa transactions and see if if the disk is filling uh, if the java is filling the disk or not but this disk size is almost 46 percent means the some process is really doing IO transactions without uh, increasing the disk space so actually if you have any uh, if you see the disk space increasing it's easy to identify uh, which file is actually getting increased you can go to the directory you can find the size of the file and you can go to the directory and you can see which process is writing onto the directory but in this case it's a little difficult because here we see no uh, no like uh, not much increase in the disk size and our, our, our disk usage it's a disk usage is almost same but only thing is the IO trans transactions are really happening in the high volume so it's a 21 and it's 20 10 point so it's really uh, IO transaction so the only the suspicious process is like this java lib right let us explore more on this uh, java thing. let me see what exactly going on with this case where exactly it was started this process started at to see which is exactly I think this is alternate this is so Let's see P3 once again. Let me see.
so if the mail file comments is happening then where exactly these files are happening Three one. I think this path is having a really tough time. See, it's going like a, it's working like a looping operation. something is writing here so copy right go to java app and load wow so if you see this uh, list directory there are many small files created here and most of them is having the timing is actually the current timing that means these are the very recently updated files and most of the transactions happening within this directory so we can suspect this this java is the culprit process for this iva operation but if 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 uh, uh, if you want to stop this java many times you cannot stop, stop simply because this may may be related to some application but if you if you can ask this uh, developers like whether we can stop this Java because it's really going to kill this machine. If it kills the machine, then it is a real crash, right? So I want to find out whether we can uh, really stop this process. I think it's it's a solid experiencing the I/O problem. It's not taking any comments. service time is 144 and busy time is 18 so anyway I have, I have to stop this process really it's a suspicious process and the only thing happening so I want to see how many sub processor related to this java here let me fill this I don't think it will kill because Java is not in the part of the process name but not is exactly the, the process name it's not killing I think still it was not killed let me try the other command like kill okay, 
grab java arc and process id like four I have to be a little careful with this command so what it will do basically I am taking the output ps minus elf hyphen uh, elf command and I am grabbing the uh, grab for the java pattern means all this process and after that I am printing this uh, the fourth field of the output that is this is pid number and and then I am sending kill signal to the, all these processes so uh, most of them was killed and if you see ps minus java ok fine so java process was killed let's see what is this i was status success I think it's coming down a little bit. So service time came down and percentage B is fine. And that's TVM stat. I'll leave the first uh, row. And it is run queue it seems to be zeros once again no swapping and everything is zero and i think system is under control so now we have to ask developers to debug their java script and to reduce the io operations or otherwise we have to make sure that io load is happening uh, across the disk not like uh, a single disk okay this is how we identify the disk we will see the another demo to identify the memory bottleneck